video is going to be a bit of a haul video. Um, I've kind of accumulated a lot of things and I thought I'd better get it all out of the way now before I end up having like a four hour long haul video which let's face it no one is going to want to watch. So be sure to get yourself a cup of tea or whatever takes your fancy and buckle up because this is going to be a long one. So you may or may not be able to notice that my teeth maybe are a little bit whiter, I'm not sure how it will pick up on camera, but in person they are about eight shades whiter. Ollie basically treated me to get my teeth whitened around Christmas, he wasn't trying to tell me something, um, my teeth weren't exactly yellow, but I really wanted them done because obviously I'm on camera a lot of the time and I'm always very very self conscious about my teeth, so um, I actually bought myself a teeth whitening pen to go along with it. This pen is by the same company that actually did my teeth and it costs around £19 which I think is probably a rip off now looking at things online but um, it works nicely, it does keep my teeth looking nice and fresh so um, I don't regret buying this at all but maybe next time I will look into something a little less expensive. So basically all you do is you smile and you just paint this onto your teeth. Um, leave it for around half an hour if you can, so you're walking around with a big smile on your face. Um, you look a little bit stupid but after half an hour you can just either wash it off, um, brush your teeth or just carry on with your day as normal. It doesn't taste great but it doesn't really taste bad, it kind of just tastes like not that great tasting toothpaste. But it does the job and a little bit does go a long way. The next few things are Christmas presents from my best friend. We always seem to do it a little bit late, we seem to see each other maybe a week or two after Christmas, but even so, these products were worth waiting for completely. The first product is the Pixie Glow Tonic and I have been trying to get my hands on this for so long, even before it came in this fancy bottle when it was in the pump. Lord knows how she got her hands on this because we both live in Cornwall and in Cornwall there is no Pixie. I don't even know if Pixie deliver but it is near impossible to get your hands on this so I am absolutely over the moon that she picked this up. For those of you that don't actually know what this is, it's an exfoliating toner that smells beyond amazing. It's got aloe vera and ginseng. It's meant to be really gentle on your skin and just exfoliate over time so it's not going to be overly abrasive or anything like that. And she knows how I feel about skincare so when she picked this up I literally dived and gave her the biggest hug ever. The next thing she got me was the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I have been wanting to try this for so long but I know it's pricey so I haven't been wanting to buy it. So. I kind of love her and hate her for the fact that she bought me this because if I love it then I'm just going to have to keep repurposing it. The nib really is so so tiny, I don't know if you can even see that but it's literally like hair precision. So I think it's safe to say that I'm pretty damn excited about trying this. If you watched my 2014 favourites you will understand my love for this, I forgot to pick it up and show it in the video but this is the Mask of Magnum Inti by Lush and this is a fresh pot so I can show you it without looking gross. Um, just this really nice green sludge that smells minty like rosemary almost and it just sorts out my skin completely if I ever have spots or if I'm ever feeling a little bit oily I'll pop this on and it will literally just calm down absolutely everything so um, I already have this but I was getting low on it so I'm really happy that she picked up another one for me because I literally cannot get enough of this then last week I picked up two more lip products, I've been obsessing over the nude lip just like everyone else. This is what I've got on my lips today and it's the Collection Lip Liner in number 8 Natural and the Maybelline Colour Drama in Nude Perfection. And basically this is, I just use it as a lipstick but you could probably get away with using this as a liner. But I just line my lips just completely and overline them a little bit with this one, it costs like £3 and then I go over the top with this bad boy and it keeps the colour on for so long. Um, my friend when we went to the cinema yesterday, she was asking me what was on my lips and then after we had a few drinks as well, she was amazed at the fact that it was still on my lips and I'm definitely not one of those people that take care of my makeup, so when I go out I will stuff my face and I will always be that person that has lipstick on her teeth as you can probably see in one of my past videos. <laughs> or I'll just be that person that ends up with really patchy lipstick so I usually don't bother but this stuff is amazing and I'm basically wearing this every single day now. While I'm on the topic of nude lips, I also picked up the Manhattan Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade number 95M and this stuff is beyond amazing. I picked it up from Fragrance Direct and it's basically a matte lip cream as you'd probably imagine. It smells like royal icing, so kind of like vanilla royal icing and uh, this stuff stays on like a dream. It does get a little bit drying after maybe four or five hours, but it's so cheap, it cost me like £2.50 or something on Fragrance Direct, so you really can't complain, and all I really do is I make sure I have a balm underneath when I put it on, and it stays and stays and stays, and I just absolutely love the colour. It just, I swear it would go with pretty much any skin tone, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this, and it's so quick and easy to apply as well. 
And then we have another nude lip. This one is the L'Oreal Brunette um, Natural in the number slash shade 231 Sepia Silk. To be fair, it's a pretty similar shade to the Manhattan Lip Cream. Um, obviously, this one is more of like a matte stain and this one is just more of like your standard lipstick. But yeah, I absolutely love both of them. This one's a bit more uh, nourishing on the lips, so it just depends on what your favourite sort of formula is. And again, another nude lipstick. This one was also part of my fragrance direct order. This one's from Gemma Kid, and it's in the shade 04 Muse. It's pretty similar to the other ones as well, but it's kind of more of a brown, beige sort of tone. So um, maybe not for everyone, but I personally really, really like it. Sometimes I like to warm it up with the lip pencil, the Maybelline Color Drama. But overall, I just think this is a really, really nice colour and it's not too in your face, so it doesn't make you look like you've got dead lips or anything like that. It does, it's more of like a sheer coverage basically. But yeah, I really, really, really like this. Actually, while I'm talking about it, let me know if you want to see almost like a neutral, natural lip colour lookbook almost. That was just way too many L's in that sentence. But just let me know and I can swatch them on my lips and do some sort of voiceover or something. I caved and I bought my first ever MAC lip liner. Um, obviously the whole Whirl and Saw, all of the Kylie Jenner uh, liners were completely sold out of everywhere so I decided to pick up Strip Down which I think is the one that Kim Kardashian uses sometimes um, and it's just more of a brownie sort of shade, I don't know if you can see that. I feel like my hand placement's really, really awkward, I don't know why I'm not just doing this. Um, but yeah, it's more like a neutral brownie shade and I really, really like this. It is more noticeable so it doesn't look as natural on me because obviously I am quite pale. But I do find that this is still a really, really nice colour just for more like a natural lip or something. And as we all know, the MAC lip liners stay on forever and they're really, really nice to apply as well. Now my last lip product of the haul is this Clarins Rouge Eclat 01 Nude Rose Lipstick. This just fell through my mailbox and onto my desk and I just absolutely love this. I haven't properly tried it on my lips yet but I've slightly swatched it and again it's a more neutral pinky colour that I really like the look of online so I'm really, really excited to uh, try that one out and again if you did want me to do like a sort of neutral lip look then I can always try this one out and swatch it for you then. This has to be one of the weirdest things that I've ever received. It's a cellular blue and it's basically a cellulite busting silicone cup. Um, obviously there's loads of different things on the market that claim that they can get rid of cellulite and I have a few cellulite creams that are meant to work. I haven't really noticed too much any of a difference, not that I'm covered in cellulite. Um, but this one, I really like using. It is kind of painful, but essentially, I don't know if it will work with my arm, but essentially you just, it's not really going to work. Oh, hello. Stick it on, obviously not to your arm, but I don't know if you can see, but it kind of sucks your skin in. It's kind of like that cupping massage. Um, you put it on your thighs, you make sure you obviously you've got like oils or moisturisers on your legs and you kind of just roll it up and down or you can go side to side. Um, I've actually really been enjoying using this, it's a little bit uncomfortable at first, it's not exactly painful but it doesn't feel that great, you kind of have to grip, grip your teeth before you sort of get used to it. Um, but I've kind of noticed a slight difference from using this, obviously I'm not expecting miracles but um, I will keep trying this out and let you know. So some of you may or may not know, I have started fake tanning again, so I decided to pick up the Clarins Instant Smooth Self Tanning Bronzer Primer thing. It's basically the one that's hyped up all over the internet, and it looks a little something like this, if I can get it out. Haven't used it yet, but it's basically a bronzing primer, so obviously when you tan yourself in general, your face doesn't tend to pick up the tan as much, and obviously if you're cleansing or doing a double cleanse, it's going to take it off your face more than it will your body, so I decided to pick this up and give it a go, just so I can maintain like a glow in my face, even when I'm not tan, it's always nice to look a little bit more glowy, but yeah, again, I will of course keep you posted on this bad boy. I told you this haul was long, but this is one of the last products, so stay with me. It's the Instant Light Brush on Perfector from Clarence. I have mine in number 00. And again, I haven't used this, so I kind of don't want to roll this up, you know, hashtag blogger problems. But this is basically kind of like a Tisha Claire, but the Clarence version. Um, haven't actually heard much about this, but thought I would give it a go. I've run out of quite a lot of my highlighters, and I've lost one of my highlighters that I always use under my brow bone. Um, so I'm really excited to use this, and hopefully it will give me like a nice highlighted brow effect, and hopefully it'll work out a lot better than the Tisha Claire one, because I, even though I liked that, I didn't really like the applicator of it at all, so we'll have to wait and see with that one. Now the last two products are for nails. I did an order with John Lewis recently and I had a few pans left on my gift card that I got. And this is the Elegant Touch Rapid Dry for Nails. Um, I think it's just like a nail drying spray. 
So as you may know, I always have problems with my nails. I'm so impatient and I hate painting my nails. So anything that shortens the time of that, I'm just all about. This cost me around two to three pounds. So if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna be too disappointed. But if it does, then I may need to stock up on about 12 million bottles of this. And finally, I decided to jump on the Sesh Feet bandwagon. Um, anything again that keeps my nail polish on for longer, which means I won't have to paint my nails as often, I am just all about. So I decided to pick this up. Obviously, it is quite pricey. I think it's around the £10 mark for a top coat. But it's meant to work. It's also meant to dry out really quickly. So we'll have to see how that goes. But um, yeah, I haven't tried this out yet. I'm just going to wait until I next paint my nails and just go over with this. And it's basically do like a little science experiment to see how long it lasts because normally for me nail polish lasts like three days max so if this can extend that then I will be very very happy. So I hope you enjoyed watching what I picked up over the past few weeks. Let me know what your favourite product is down in the comment section below and let me know if you've tried any of these products as well because I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe as well if you're new. Also I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me because I've now hit 2,500 subscribers which is ridiculous um, so yeah thank you to anyone that is already subscribing but if you're not then you can always click that button down below and you can just see my face in your newsfeed whenever you like who doesn't want that I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next video bye